All right, maximal and minimal points. An element x is called a maximal point when there's nobody bigger than it. There's no y in p with y bigger than x. An element is called a minimal point when there's nobody less than it. Here's a concrete example, and I'm using the binary relation model. So the ground set is 1 to 6, and here's the binary relation. And I say 6 and 3 are minimal elements. Now look at that binary relation and see if you agree with me. How, did I, how could I tell that? How could I tell that 6 is a minimal element? Yes? It's never on top. What is it? It's on top in the... In, in the th Look on time, four, four, five, five, six, 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 it's on the right. Okay, very good. So he's, he's right. So you never see six in the right component with something other than six in the left. So six is a minimal element. Two, four, and five are maximal elements. Agreed? Are there any other maximal elements? If I give you the data file for a big post set, and, and think of yourself as a computer, is it hard for you to find the set of minimal elements? Is it hard for you to find the set of maximal elements? No. A simple scan of the data file will, will do that. Yes? So Very easy to find the set of minimal elements and the set of maximal elements. You can tell from this that 4 is comparable to 6. Yes? In fact, who's less than whom? Six is less than four, but four is comparable to six because one of them is less than the other. Two is, comparable, two is incomparable to three because you can't find a two three or a three two in the list. One covers six, and three is covered by five. Four is bigger than six, but four doesn't cover six because you can put one in between it. Okay? Here's another concrete example showing you some of the advantages, at least in modest size, of, of, of the visual quality of the order diagram. C and F are maximal elements, yes? A, B, G, and H are minimal elements. Don't forget G. Don't forget G. You see why G is a minimal element? A is comparable to F. C is incomparable to H. Look at that one. C is incomparable to H. E covers A. H is covered by D. E is bigger than H, but E does not cover H. It doesn't cover H. Why? Because D is in between. All right. Minimal elements, maximal elements, comparable elements, covers. Are all those concepts clear to you? Good. Here's a bigger one. This is made with the, hopefully with the letters A through Z. You know, in my typical style, the same letter will appear twice, or, or there's a letter of the English alphabet left out. Uh, I, think, I think this one's okay. Oh, you did? <laughs> really good, really good. Uh, but I, de I deserved it, right? You know, I, I deserved it. All right. 